Я приехал в деревню Далагеты. Это где-то посередине острова Себу. И здесь я увлекательно, я надеюсь, что увлекательно проведу следующие два дня. На завтра у меня запланировано мероприятие, поход в горы. Здесь живет моя знакомая, с которой я собираюсь встретить и записать интервью. Надеюсь, все получится. Здесь я забронировал себе ночь в этом отеле на Агода за 1600 песо. Проблема маленьких городов, таких как Делагетти, в том, что на Агоде абсолютно нет выбора гостиниц, каких-то дешевых. Только было всего пару резортов от полутора тысяч за номер. Айо! Я yeah, have a booking here. Просто зацените, как круто. Ну, то есть, вот мой балкончик. Чик. Смотрите, какой вид. Море. Столик, веранда. Вентилятор, газовая горелка на улице. Посмотрите, как круто внутри. Чистенький туалет. Горячий душ. Кухня, отдельная кухня. Полностью место для готовки. Чайник, рисоварка, тостер, холодильник. Даже кофе. Кофе, кример. Полный набор посуды. Тарелки, вилки, ложки. Прекрасно. Стаканы, кружки, тоска разделочная. Прекрасно. Большая кровать. Сплит-система. Не этот трактор, который тарахтит. Нормальный человечий кондиционер. Шкаф. Телевизор. Ребята, и вторая детская комната. Офигеть просто. Двухуровневая детская кровать. И тут же выход на балкончик. И выход на трассу. Вот это я понимаю, по-человечески все сделано. Хозяин иностранец. Наверное, поэтому по-человечески все и сделано. Это удовольствие на Агода мне обошлось за 1600 песо. Я в восторге. Я в восторге. Отличный отель. Я по-прежнему в деревне Далагетте. Время ближе к вечеру, и сейчас я встречаюсь с девушкой Полиной, с которой мы договорились поужинать. Я хочу взять у нее небольшое интервью о том, как она здесь живет и что она здесь делает. Полина очень необычный человек, но обо всем по порядку. Поехали! Интересно, что происходит. Чего они все так на машину накинулись, на эти коробки? А вот, Полинка, картинка. Why you hiding your face? Hi, Pauline. Hello. So, uh, you live here in De La Guete? Yeah, I lived here for almost three years now. Here in De La, Ge De La Guete? In De La Guete. But I originally from Cebu City. You know, you know, before I thought it's a Delagetti, like a big city, like a Karkar or something. But I found it like at a small, really small city. Is it not boring here? People say it's boring, but to me it's like, it's a peace of mind. It's, I grew up in, in the city and I'm totally over it. <laughs> and I, I'm tired, you know. Say hello. <laughs> well, that's okay. You can be also part Are of our no community. Yeah. No pick up at Prima online. You have so many admirers here. I don't think so. I think two. They uh, thought that I'm a girl, but suddenly I'm not. But but your family in Cebu City, right? Yes, my family is in Cebu City. I also have a relatives from here. From Delegate? Yeah, from Delegate. Because my father grows up here in Delegate. And you and you live here with your boyfriend together? Yes. Is he a foreigner? Yes. How old is he? Um, he's turning uh, he's turning forty. Forty. Oh mom. like my age. Yeah. The same same like my age. I'm I'm thirty eight. Yeah. And you? Like 
34. 31. You told me before, like, you have uh, some kind of business, right? What is your job? Hairdresser. What's a that? hairstylist. Like, oh. do cut the hair, coloring hair. Like fashion yeah. for girls. You have a saloon or something? No, I worked before in Cebu City, but now I have my own business, like, freelancing. Uh, how possible to have a freelance business with cutting hairs? Is it some kind of... Online appointments, can I get it? Online appointment. You have to book your appointment too. And also like makeup or something, no? You not makeup artist. I, I do makeup but most mostly I do workout and very fun or treatment like How you guys can go out can I get it, like in a small city? Do you have a bars, disco or something? Oh well, actually we don't have bars here. We only have like that. Like this, like but I can see a lot. I can see a lot of foreigners here, and uh, they just sitting here drinking on the boulevard. Drinking a beer, yeah, enjoying the conversation with each other, and yeah, I saw. I saw some. Used to it, pretty much. I saw some guys try to flirt with you right now. Yeah. Ah. Uh, that, that's um, that's awkward. You know him? No. No. I don't know anyone. Okay. Полина моя знакомая, и как вы догадались, это Леди Бой. Завтра я хочу взять у нее интервью и спросить пикантные, интересные вопросы. Посмотрим, что из этого получится. Остановились покушать балут. Кто не знает, балут это зародыш утенка в скорлупе. После ужина мы разъехались по домам и договорились встретиться на следующий день, чтобы сходить в горы и продолжить наше интервью. Все, я... Выписался из отеля, очень приятный отель, очень приятный резорт. Хозяин иностранец, англичанин. Сейчас я иду навстречу Полине и ее молодому человеку. Я оставлю свой рюкзак и вместе мы поедем в горы на Османия пик. Какой-то известный пик здесь в горах с потрясающим видом на весь остров Себу. Давайте посмотрим. Мы договорились взять хабал, хабал, и сейчас Куя отвезет нас на Османия пик за 6 соток туда и обратно, и будет ждать там. Тридцать пять минут на мототакси по горам, и мы на месте. Сейчас нам нужно зарегистрироваться, и мы пойдем смотреть Османиан Пик. Это самая высокая точка Сибу. Ну, может быть, не самая. Откуда открывается вид на весь остров. Теперь нам нужно 15 минут идти по горам. С нами идет... Инструктор. Чуть больше километра нам предстоит подняться в гору на вершину пика Османия. Мы наконец наверху, здесь просто потрясающий вид. Я могу увидеть и одну часть острова Себу, и вторую часть острова Себу. Я могу увидеть одновременно и Бахол, и Неграс. So how it is here? It's beautiful. It is it your first time here? It's my first time here. Uh, but you said you was on other peak, something like Casino Peak. Where is it? That way. That other one? Side, yeah. yeah. It is also like the same, like the, the peak. The same, but there in Casino Peak is different trail. It's more difficult. More difficult. Yeah. You need more hike. Yeah, hike. Yeah. Hike like really high. And what is it upstairs? Like, is, is any shops or just this? Just the same? Just the rocks? Just rocks and a little bit of grasses. Okay.
Очень у многих растений на Филиппинах красные листья. Мы возвращаемся обратно в город, где мы хотим пообедать. Я хочу задать свои вопросы по линии и поеду домой в Думагете после. Что удивляет на Филиппинах, даже далеко высоко в горах, где, казалось бы, нет никакой цивилизации. Раз, и тут город. Город Манталунис, где живут фермеры и выращивают овощи. Вход на вершину Османия стоил еще 100 песо с человека. И за нами увязалась женщина-гид, которой пришлось заплатить еще 200 песо. Я думаю, что гид это не обязательное условие, но нам об этом никто не сказал. So, hi, Pauline. Hello, sir. My first question is, uh, what age you realize that you are born in a different body, you know what I mean, right? Yes. Um, for that How old question, are you was? I think I started my transition um, nine years old. At nine years old, you already realized oh, yeah. how, how it was like you was. It's difficult at first, but... It's difficult to, how to say, to, to understand who you are. Yeah. As the first, at the beginning, right? Yes. And uh, how your parents, how your family react on that? Well, my parents' reaction is, um, how do you say this? Did they support you or no? At first, they, it's difficult for them to um, to accept that I'm, a, I'm being a lady boy. But then the history is. Um, In my parents, in my mom's side, relatives, they have the, the trans, already. the gay, they already have that. So I guess it's not hard for them to understand why I became trans myself. You mentioned before that your sister is also trans, right? Yeah, I have. It is a older sister or younger sister? Younger sister. Younger sister. So you was the first one? I was the first one. And it was like uh, your experience was harder than the experience of your sisters because you was Yeah, I'm the first one. one. So for them it's easy because, you know, mm -hmm. they, they accept, my parents accepted that. And, and already have your experience. Yeah. I got it. So it, it, it wasn't really easy, right, on the first time? It was not really easy. What difficulties you was handled? In public. In public? Yeah. No, I mean, I mean, what, what difficulties you handle in family? In family, yeah. um, I don't see yeah, the acceptance, acceptance of my gender. Acceptance. Yeah. It, it took some time? It takes a lot of time, mm -hmm. but maybe five years. Before. Five years yeah. of acceptance? Before, yeah. Really? Yes. You have some fighting with family? Or what? Not fighting, but trying to be a man, like a man, like a guy. <laughs> They, they, they force me they to, force yeah. you to be a guy. But then I, I don't want to do it. So yeah. I'm kind of like a yeah. stubborn. <laughs> Can you tell some words about your transformation? What's the transformation beginning? Are you use hormones? Oh, good question. Yeah. yeah, for that I'm taking hormones, which is the pills yeah. and the injection. Injection, also hormones. Hormones. From what age you start these hormones? I started my transition taking hormones uh, The age of um, 14. For, 14, like you already become teenager. Yeah, teenager. Do you have to use hormones all your life or no? It depends. Because to me, I I take hormones on and off. Like example, for six months, that uh -huh. six months I stop. Uh -huh, I got it. I got it. Is it expensive or no? The local hormones here is not that expensive, but the, there's some Side expensive. Side effects? No ones that you can get. So you use local hormones or...? The local hormones, but... What's the difference between local and expensive ones? The quality, uh, side effects? The, the, the side effects and the quality. The local is... makes you... Um, it gives me a angry... Like, ah, know, the, 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 the mood changing. Yeah, mood changing. I got it, like I got it. Uh, but you use a quality one. Yeah, right now. Did they have some side effects, except except moods? I think there's a side effect where you, where, uh, so some people, some transgender experience a cyst. Cyst? What cyst? Like a cancer cyst in their uh, abdominal part of the body. Uh, I got it. Uh, yeah, I heard many trans that experience early death. Early I mean, death? Yeah. 
way. Using the hormones in a wrong way. So if you use hormones in a wrong way, it can cause like cancer or some cancer, disease. Yeah. Uh, disease. So you have to be very responsible with yes. hormones. Uh, did you have any surgery? I don't have any surgery. Really? Uh, no boobs, no nose? No boobs, no nose. It's all hormones. So uh, hormones can change your body also? Yeah. You know, make it's it, make not it, the masculine. Ah, and make it more girlish. Yeah. Okay. Feminine. Feminine. Okay. Yes. Did, did you feel any discrimination in community being a lady boy here on Philippines? Like well, judging from sociality, like something, maybe some angry from someone? Um, in my experience. In your experience, of in course. In my experience. I don't give much that discrimination because I don't hang out with people. Maybe some of the people say bad words for me that I'm um, at the gay, back, at the back. Bio, yeah, at the back. I don't tolerate. I just forget them. I don't give a fuck. Not, not, not even a case. No. So, so no discrimination. No discrimination in my experience. Did you ever try relationships with Pinoy or only with foreigners? I have been tried a relationship with Pinoy. Never. Never. Why you, uh, people like you, and just girls on Philippines prefer date with foreigners instead of Pinoy? To my experience, yeah, because. Um, to Pinoy. Yeah. I haven't tried dating Pinoy because I find them not reliable, but they are good friends. They can be good, they can be bad. Yeah, That's like like everybody. For ourselves, it can be good, can be bad, can be responsible, can be unresponsible. People always yeah. the same. Yes. So in foreigner, I find them very reliable, mm -hmm. honest, and respectful. Did you ever try to be with a girl? Oh, no. Never. Never. You just cannot be horny with a girl. Okay. <laughs> just asking. So, Pauline, now you have relationships and having a boyfriend. Yes. How long are you already in relationships? I been, it's been um, three years and a half. Your boyfriend is a foreigner, right? Can I ask from, from what country or no? America. American. From the US. From the US. I, I got it. Uh, the guy who dating is with lady boy, he's gay or not? He's not. Some some people think about that. If you date a lady boy, you could be a, you could be a gay. Yeah. But the truth is not. Did your boyfriend date with a girl before? He's been dating with the girls, yes. And I'm the first one. You're the first one lady boy in yes. his in his life. In his relationship. In his life. Yes. And, la and the last one. Yes. For all your life. I hope so. Ooh. I know a lot of lady boys work in a fashion like Makeup artist and a fashion uh, dress designer. Yeah. Why so? I think we love to work or to do that stuff. Like to me, I'm a hairstylist. Yeah. And I love my job. I yeah. love my work. Yeah. So it's depends. Depends on the person. Yeah. As I can see, many lady boys are more open-minded and more so socialized and easy socialized with other groups like that. Uh, why? Why so? Yeah, it's about me, right? Of course. In my experience. We, we talk about you, right? Okay. In my experience, um, I can say I'm not a shy type. Yeah. And I can, I, I can tell that I'm more open. Like, I don't shy to being around so like, people. You know, don't shy person. Yeah. You know, when I come to the Philippines, I get a lot of attention from lady boys, like like a bad jokes, like dirty jokes. Oh. When, I, when, when I walk around and lady boy passing by, you know, hey, daddy, like that, like that and uh, oh. give me the bad jokes. I, I hate this one. Okay. I hate this, that experience and I can see that you are absolutely different. Like okay. a very, a very good manner, very calm person. Why lady boys always try to make attention to them? I don't know. Maybe they react funny if they do that. So to me, I don't do that stuff. Maybe some lady boys, they, they think about it's an expression. Mm, like, yes, they do. A when lot they of... saw a foreigner coming, yeah. passing by, it's... they will say, Hi, daddy. Hi, daddy. Like that. Yeah, like like that. that. Hi, babe. Yeah, so like it's like way. a lady boy from the street. Yeah, lady boy from the street. Working in the street. Uh, uh, they working on the street. Oh, okay. That makes sense. <laughs> uh, oh, that's why I didn't thought about it in that way. So if you are a, a trans with. Uh, like minors, with, like yeah, a good, good family. Yeah, with good have, have a great job. Yeah. Then, yeah, maybe 
you don't act like that. As I can see, you're absolutely different. You never do like that. You never act like that. Is it hard for the boy to find a partner? Yes, it is. It's really hard. Do you have like a community dating sites for the boys and like that? Oh, I've been, I've been, I've been to a lot of <laughs> dating sites and dating apps. I met him in a dating site called Tanta. It's dating site for, for, for gay people for, or something? For all of people. For all of people. What women, women and men is. So on that on that dating sites, your profile. You put on your profile that you are a ladyboy, right? From the yes, beginning. Yes. So no surprises for guys. No surprises. I didn't hide my gender. Yeah, that's good. I didn't have to. Okay, Pauline, thank you for your time. Thank you for interview. It was nice thank to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye-bye. Я проводил Полину домой к ее молодому человеку, где взял туда и вернул. А сейчас мне нужно поймать автобус и вернуться домой в Думагете. Я сейчас в порту Бата на острове Себу, где мне предстоит увлекательно провести следующий час, пока я жду баржу на остров Неграс. Я подозреваю, у соотечественников подобный контент и подобные люди могут вызвать много негатива. Но, ребята, люди те, кто они есть. Привет Шибаину! Опять местные караоке орут? 